You may have seen a brush like this before, or like this. Well, I'm going to explain to you today how to use a round brush, and just so you know, these are my round brushes, which you can get at shop.thesalonguy.com. They have my logo right there, uh, and they have the ionic and ceramic technology in them, which I specifically had put into, this, into these brushes simply because it helps condition your hair more when you're drying it, and you're gonna get smoother hair, and it's gonna dry quicker. So you may have bought this brush or you know, seen this as my TikTok or hairbrush because this literally is the perfect size brush to get those flips in the front like the TikTok or hairstyle, okay? Then I've got the two and a half inch brush, which is the same ionic ceramic. It's just a half an inch wider as far as the diameter of it. I don't use this for any sort of TikToker styles because it's just the barrel's too big and you're not gonna be able to get uh, much of that flip because the smaller the brush, the more curl or movement you're gonna get and the larger or wider the barrel, the more of it's more smoothing or bigger types of volume, okay? So traditionally, and this is gonna be pretty in depth, round brushes, I, I, there's so many different types of round brushes, whether it's boar hair bristle or bristles like this, metal you have to watch out for, but it really comes down to what type of technology is in the brush. Aside from that, it's how you're using it with the blow dryer, okay? And thank you for everyone who's purchasing my blow dryer here. Shop at thesalonguy.com, use code YouTube20 for 20% off, but these hair dryers are selling like crazy. I've been getting such great feedback. This is the updated second version of it. Uh, once again, so you know, you can twist the handle like this for traveling and now it has the magnetic attachment, okay? Like that, because the other one didn't and it was causing an issue. <laughs> so now we have still great technology, but it comes with this nozzle and a diffuser. Now it's magnetic, it snaps on. When it comes to using the brush, I've always said this and I've learned this firsthand, I'm gonna get a little bit closer here, is that <clears throat> when you're blow drying, the nozzle right here, and it's very important to use a nozzle when you're using a round brush because you're simply directing the air and focusing the air on that one area. If you don't have this, then the air is blowing all over the place. If you want that control, it's really ideal to have the nozzle and brush working in sync together. That's the one way I learned it many years ago is that they are in sync with each other. <clears throat> so that means when you're blow drying your hair, just say your hair is you know, damp and now you're gonna start the whole process, you put your pre-styling products in and now it's time to start blow drying. What I like to do is I like to first get the hair wrapped around the brush and work the brush through a couple of times just to get the feel of getting out any knots, make sure the brush will go through smoothly in the hair. And then what I do is I go in and I go over it one time with the air and I use full hot air, full speed. I just keep going over it to try to get that moisture, that first layer of moisture or water out first. Then after I do that, I'll then start to work it a little more now. I'm gonna go in and I'm, gonna, I'm going to uh, work the round brush with the nozzle and I'm turning and pulling, turning and pulling like this. Many, many times I'll see people put the brush in like this and just let the hair singe like that you're basically cooking your hair well done, then you're gonna fry your hair and you see smoke, the fire department's gonna show up and it's gonna be a big scene, okay? You don't wanna do that. What you wanna do is you literally wanna just go in and really, really work the brush in with the nozzle, work the product into the hair, and then once you have, if you have to, then you take the brush and go back. If you want your hair solid, go back a little bit more. You want some volume right here. You can, you can easily achieve any sort of look with a round brush. The key is that you want to constantly, at least when I do it, right, and I've been doing hair for quite some time, when I do it, I want to always be working as efficiently as I possibly can while maintaining the integrity and condition, the condition of the hair, all right? So keep these two locked in. Keep the brush and the nozzle working in sync together, right? It's the same thing with the smaller brush, except with the smaller brush or the the brush that's thinner in diameter, the same thing. However, if you use this 
type of brush, a smaller brush on longer hair types, it may be a little bit more difficult because you're gonna wrap so much hair around this brush that you can end up maybe getting the hair tangled in the brush and it may not, you, may not, you may not get the look that you're going for because you're not using the right brush. So shorter hairstyles like this uh, with this brush, something like this probably I'd go with, right? A shorter hairstyle because you wanna get some lift throughout the top here. And you can see with one wrap around the hair wraps around perfectly. If the brush, is, and this is actually a really good visual right here, if the brush is too thick, like we're using the larger one, the hair is barely gonna go around. So you may get some volume, but you're really gonna get more smoothness, okay? Like that, you're gonna get some more smoothness. You'll get some volume, but with this, think of it like a curling iron, you're actually going in, wrapping it around, and you're now able to set the hair, then you can let it uh, let the heat hit it for a little bit, and then you're gonna be able to get that more longer lasting volume in the hair. And that's why it's really important. Some people, what they do when their hair is dry, you know, uh, they'll dry it, then they'll hit it with hairspray. That's old school. I wouldn't suggest spraying the hairspray on the hair, like actual hairspray, like my locked hairspray or anything aerosol and then going in with the blow dryer because that heat is just going to singe the hair. You're going to see smoke everywhere and it's going to become a forest fire, okay? You do not want to do that. What you want to do is really just keep the integrity of the hair. Don't fry your hair and just use your tools properly. If you are interested in any of these tools, okay? Once again, these two brushes right here, shop.thesalonguy.com and my dryer, 20% off Use code YouTube20 and it's free shipping in the United States on orders with a value of over $50. We just had to place another huge order to have these manufactured, uh, which I think arrived yesterday and some were arriving today because they keep selling, right? They just keep selling. So thank you. I want to make these as affordable as I possibly can. There's the same thing. You've got the ionic technology in here. It's, it's actually creating less damage when you're drying your hair and it's a lot more efficient. So thank you so much for watching and I'll see you soon.